Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to talk about IP address. Uh, for those who are not familiar with the IP address, that's the address that is needed by every device on the computer. Uh, they are unique addresses, so each one is different. But this is how we get uh, information from one device or one computer uh, to another, and that's how we send email, that's how we send any web information, anything at all on the internet is, is routed uh, by particular IP addresses that again are unique to every computer. Uh, internet protocol address. This is a network layer protocol, so those who are familiar with the OSI uh, model, this is the third layer, and this is used by the World Wide Web. Very popular and very needed. Uh, used by web browsers. Uh, we talked about DNS. Now, DNS was able to translate names like apple.com to their respective uh, IP addresses. Now, here we've got apple.com, and its IP address would be 17. Dot, uh, 172.224.47. Uh, this is the information that each packet of information uh, needs to include in order for the routers to be able to move data from one computer to another. It needs this IP address. Uh, here's a little diagram of IP address. We've got IBM.com uh, on one side and Apple.com on another. We have users that are trying to locate these IP addresses or these uh, websites. And the only way we can get information to them is to get their IP addresses. Now, DNS, we talked about that before, is able to do this translation to get the IP addresses. This IP address then would put in, be put into packets of information that would be sent through the Internet uh, to those websites. And then we'd get the information back, and they would have to use our IP addresses to get the information back. Uh, in the IP scheme of things, we're using version 4. Uh, we skipped from version 4 all the way to version 6. We skipped uh, 5 and went straight to 6 because back in the 90s we thought we were going to run out of IP addresses. Because within these uh, 4 octets we have 32 bits of information. And 32 bits of binary information can give us a maximum of about 4 billion uh, different combinations. So that would give us 4 billion different and unique IP addresses for the entire internet. Well, back in the 90s, we were going to run out of IP addresses very quickly because every device in the Internet, there's probably today a lot more than 4 billion. But we've moved to a private uh, IP address scheme for homes and businesses so that within the business of the homes or even the schools, those devices have a different uh, set of IP addresses that are in the private uh, realm. So a lot of those have been reused, and then for a particular site or school, we would have just one IP address. So that way we have been able to conserve, uh, conserve the addresses, but uh, again, it looks like probably in a few years we'll probably run out and we'll probably be forced uh, to, to move this to version 6. So right here you can see we have four octets, and the maximum number within an octet is 255. So we can go from 0 to 255 inside these four octets. The maximum combination for 32 bits is, again, about 4 billion. Uh, I've, got a lot of, I've got another uh, YouTube video on this conversion of binary uh, to uh, decimal information. And it's, it's interesting if you're uh, wanting to learn how to convert uh, from binary to decimal. Now, if you go to your Start button, go to Run, and type CMD, we can get this command screen. And if, again, if you type in ipconfig, that'll give you this information. This information shows the IP address of this particular computer. Now, again, the IP address would be needed to put into our data packets in order to get our information from one computer to another. And again, this is what we call a uh, private IP address. Uh, it's part of the IP addresses, but it's been uh, set aside. Uh, so it's not actually routed off to the Internet. Uh, the IP address that would be used uh, by my particular router would be one that's designated for this home. But a lot of the devices within the home would be using this private IP scheme. Now here's another uh, command screen, and this time I'm going to type in ping space apple.com. Now ping is being blocked by most businesses, but DNS does give us the IP address of Apple, and you can see it came back here, apple.com IP address 17.178.96.59. And this IP address is going to be used by the packets as we send information to Apple. And then Apple, as, as returns information, will use my IP address to get the information back to me. 
Uh, in summary, IP addresses, again, it's an internet protocol uh, address scheme, and it's at the uh, layer 3 or the network layer of the OSI model. There's uh, 32 bits, and they're divided up into four 8-bit octets. Having four 8-bit octets makes it a little easier for us to be able to write the information, because what we do is we take eight, each 8-bit binary octets and convert that into a decimal number. So we end up with four decimal numbers separated by dots and each number goes from 0 to 255. Makes it a little easier for us to write it instead of trying to write out a large 32-bit uh, binary number. Again, if you need some more information on that, I've got quite a few uh, YouTubes that can help explain the IP address a little bit further and help do conversions from IP addresses uh, back to decimal and from decimal to IP. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully this helped a little bit to clear up maybe what internet uh, protocols or the IP address is used for. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.